Hey guys, welcome to my channel. How's everybody doing today? In today's video, we're going to be taking some money back to the bank. Yes, time to take some money back to the bank. I've been using my credit card, my debit card, so we have to replace that um, money that we spent on those cards with cash. We got to put that money back in the bank. I hope you like my new setup. Miss V is um, working on some new angles. I hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, so you know I used this expense tracker that I modified on Canva. And this is the one that I use. I just laminate and cut it down to size. This lets me know um, what categories I need to take the money out of. I'm going to put that over here to the side. And so we're going to go ahead and get started first. I want to welcome all my new supporters here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Miss V. I'm trying to retire early. And so I'm just sharing my journey to motivate you guys. Just giving you some tips on ways to save money. So I save money by using my credit card only because I have gotten disciplined with using my credit cards. I'm disciplined or not disciplined enough now to use my credit card to get the cashback rewards. Once I get the cashback rewards, I pay that bill back within 30 days. When I first got out of debt, I was not able to do that. I had to learn how to do that. So if that's not something you were able to do right now, just wait until you're ready and you know, do it when you know that you're ready so it'll be beneficial to you if that's something you want to do. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first um, category we're going to be taking out of is the high priority binder, which is my car sinking fund. Okay, so this is my car um, sinking fund. I have a cash um, sinking fund and a digital because we have three vehicles so we have to try to keep those three vehicles maintenance up so that's why I have both so I have to get $37 out of this one and so we're going to take 40 out I mean the 50 out and I'll put $3 back when I get some change and so that's car maintenance and I'll update the tractors in a little bit next we have all of that same binder is home I've been doing a little decorating. If you've been watching my videos, you've been seeing that I've been organizing. So I ordered another one more of the um, acrylic Lazy Susans, and that was like twenty five dollars. So we'll we'll take we're gonna do twenty we're gonna do twenty four dollars so I can get the change for nope yeah we're gonna do twenty four dollars so I can get the change so I can pay um car maintenance back so that leaves home with fifty dollars so let me know if you like my new setup I am enjoying it yeah some of my um, equipment was malfunctioning like my um, ring light but I didn't want that to stop me from sharing my journey so I just had to rig up some so I know I had some bad angles but thank you guys for tuning in anyway. So these three dollars will go back into car. So next, that's all we have in the high priority um binder. Next, we're gonna go to my low priority binder. And these all of these categories, I've already taken this these categories out of my low priority binder because I am going to go to strictly digital on all these and that would be my anniversary every year my husband and I say celebrate our anniversary so I go ahead and save small amounts of money for that so we have $55 in there and I go ahead and take that out and put it in a high yields um, um, savings account I just decide to go digital with that one technology I already have a um, digital Hold on a minute. Okay, I'm back. I already have a digital technology. So for technology, there's no reason to have a cash and a digital. So I'm going to go ahead and take that $5 out and deposit it into my digital technology fund. And that's for like if I had to get a new laptop, a uh, new ring light, look like I'm going to have to get one soon. Anything like that, any of those things. And next, medical deductible. I had a medical sinking fund and a medical deductible sinking fund. So I combined the two. And so I'm going to add this $20 to that um, digital sinking fund. So we're just going to have one medical sinking fund. And license. You do know I'm a healthcare worker, so I have to keep up with my license and credentials. I have license in three different states. So that is what this is for. I'm going to 
trans converting this over to digital only. So I have $100 in here, so I convert that also. And home deductible is going digital only. And I have $20 in here. And card deductible, my little sticker fell off. It has $20 as well. So all those um will transfer to digital only. So I'm going to go ahead and take all the money out of all those. So eventually all of mine is going to be digital, but it's just taking me time. I have to I have to come up with a strategy so I don't get confused. So these are the ones I know I want to go ahead and do all digital. And so that's what I'm doing here. So let me know in the comment section, do you do all digital or all cash or do you do like Miss V, both? Right now I'm doing both. Yeah, I thought it was um, a good idea to go ahead and combine that medical deductible and the medical, regular medical into one sinking fund. And one more. $55 for anniversary. Five. I gotta get my 50. I'll put it in there later. It's in another envelope. So yeah, so that's um for those. And next we're gonna take our coin collecting. I'm gonna go ahead and convert that one over as well to um digital only. Hold on a minute. So coin collecting, if you didn't know Miss V, I'm I am getting into coin collecting. I'm not heavy heavy in it, but I'm just doing the basics. I'm collecting all the women quarters for 2022, all the women quarters for 2023. I'm also collecting the back quarters for 2020. If you know, you know. And the 50 quarters for every I mean each state. So I'm just starting out slow. I didn't realize it was so much. Um, that goes into coin collecting. So I'm just starting out slow and just um, doing my research. So we're going to do coin collecting. That will be all digital. So now left in my low priority, since I made all those all digital, we have um, after Christmas sale. I'm putting small amounts away for after Christmas sale. Those will be some good sales. Birthdays, um, my granddaughter's breast reduction, um, charity, car tags, candles, game night, giveaways for social media report cards i give my grandkids twenty dollars per a support small businesses storage building you know i have an apartment i'm a traveling restaurant therapy but at some point i probably gonna have to um get that apartment up and so this is for my storage building where i put my um furniture until we buy a bigger home and unbudgeted so that's all what we have in low priority Okay, now we're going to go to my family binder. My husband, I don't think he have enough money. Uh, he purchased a video game. Yes, another video game. And it was $53. He only has $10, so he's going to be negative 43. So let me write that down so I can remember to um, take the money out of his account. Negative $43. So we're going to go ahead and take the 10 that he does have. So, you know, Miss V is all about paying your debt. So, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you hear something, that's a washing machine. It's real life over here, guys. So, my nothing, nothing. My grandson, Zay, I sent him $15 one day. It's a surprise to buy him lunch. Even though it was a surprise, it still came out of his, it's still going to come out of his money. So 15, so we're going to put a 20 over there and put five back. So he has $35. So let me update his. Oh, I love this new setup, guys. I love it. I love it. So we got $35. Okay, and to Kyra, my granddaughter, I did the same thing for her a couple of days later. She was like... Whew, thank you, Granny, because I sure was um hungry. She's so picky. So she only had 30 in her, so we're going to put a 20 and get her a 5 back. She always spent her money. So she got $15 left. And who else? We have to get... Um, I'm going to take my rent out for my apartment, my... 
I'm always a month behind, a month ahead. So I'm going ahead and take my March rent out and go ahead and get a cashier's check for that. That's eight hundred and ninety-four dollars. <throat> well, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This nine hundred dollars. So we're gonna put six dollars back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put that back. Let me update this tracker. And then, we have to take $425 out for an exam I'm getting ready to take. And that's in my side income binder. Hold on. This is my side income binder. Yay, we got money affirmations. I picked up this cute dashboard from Gina Renee, REM Budgets. Check her out. And this beautiful... Um, charm binder charm is from loving my babies forever over on um instagram so yeah so if you don't see me for a while like um sometime next month i don't know exactly when but i'm gonna take a little break i gotta um go ahead and get serious and pass this exam so we got it's four hundred twenty five dollars so we got one two three four twenty five i'm gonna go ahead and put that in the bank and have that money ready for when I get ready to pay for the exam. And that way, it's um it'll accrue a little interest. So, yeah. So, that's it for this um week's uh, weekly cash stuff. And let's see how much we got going back to the bank. Alrighty. We got 100, 200, 300, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,000. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand. Eleven hundred, twelve hundred, thirteen, fourteen hundred, fourteen fifty, seventy, fourteen ninety, fifteen ten, fifteen thirty, fifteen fifty, fifteen sixty, fifteen seventy. 1580, 1590, 1595, 96, 97, 98, 99, 1601 going back to the bank. So, yeah, so we got 1601 going back to the bank. If I use any credit cards, I'll pay that money off if i use my debit card debit card it'll be in the buffer and yeah and the rest of the money is going to go to pay my rent pay for my exam and to fund all of those digital funds that i took out of my low priority binder so yeah so that, that's what we're doing in this video so this is miss v i'm always show you a way to say thank you and have a nice day